What's up everybody, Tyler Hollinger here. Today, our El Silencio Mr. Black Coffee cocktail is bar none. We're gonna make one of my all time favorite cocktails. I'm a big fan of coffee and cocktails. You get the caffeinated coffee, you get the boozy liquor. It is fantastic. Coffee cocktails? are the perfect cocktail to have before happy hour. Put that coffee down. All right, so right off the bat, this is one of our stirring cocktails. It's not a shaken cocktail. You're gonna wanna shake cocktails that are full of juices, lime juices, margaritas, lemon juices, orange juices. Anything that's juicy, you wanna shake. Or if it has egg whites in it, you're gonna wanna shake. Anything that is a, a more liquor heavy drink, you're gonna wanna stir because you don't want that amount of dilution in your cocktail and this is no exception because we actually have real espresso in this cocktail. So we have our mixing glass and we're gonna put our ice into it. So as you know, we like to, on this show, crack the ice to get it into the mixing glass, which is precisely... So as you know, on this show, we like to crack the ice, which is precisely what we're gonna do now to get it into our mixing glass. You want those ice edges to be super cold, especially in this cocktail. Very important. And now we're gonna add our alcohol. We have two different kinds of alcohol here. We have a Silencio Mezcal and we have a Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. You wanna decide which of the alcohols you want to really give the forward front flavor facing to the cocktail itself. Generally speaking, a cocktail is between four and six ounces. We're gonna do a two ounce pour of our Silencio Mezcal because we really want that front facing smoky flavor in this cocktail. And then two ounces of our Mr. Black. We're gonna have equal parts coffee liqueur and Mezcal. What we have next is what I like to call our supplemental liquors. These are not the forward facing liquors that really impart a whole lot of taste into your cocktails, but they add a lot of nuance and mouth feel, which is super important when you're making cocktails. Sweet Vermouth Antica Formula. We're gonna be doing 0.25 ounces. That's a quarter of an ounce of Sweet Vermouth. And then CNR, which is a fantastic artichoke liqueur, which adds a lot of flavor and essence and a lot of aroma to your cocktails. I'm gonna be doing 0.25 ounces of Sonar. And then finally, we're gonna add our coffee. So like I said at the beginning, what we've done is we're gonna make a really coffee-rich, smoky cocktail that you can drink on the rocks that is dairy-free. So we have our espresso here, which we brewed ahead of time, and we're gonna be doing 0.25 ounces of espresso right in the cocktail. And now, our bitters. I love these chocolate and cacao bitters from Crude. They're absolutely fantastic and add quite a lot to your cocktails. And then finally, just to sweeten things up a little bit, a little honey. It adds a different flavor quality than simple syrup, which I would traditionally put in this. Um, the honey takes a little bit longer to dilute. So you're probably gonna wanna stir this longer than normal cocktails, but the honey adds something that's not a sweetness quality, but more of a savory quality, which is precisely what you want in a drink dealing with all this coffee and mezcal. We're gonna pour it out into our glass. I can see a little bit of that honey just sitting on the top, which you're gonna get on that first little taste when you get in there. Then what I like to do is take some of the foam from our freshly made espresso and just scoop it right on top of the drink. Are you not aware that I get farty and bloated with a foamy latte? My mistake, Chocolate You know, sometimes you would do egg whites to get this kind of foam, but the whole idea of egg whites and coffee just does not sit well with me. You can also do a gelatin spuma, which is really nice. It's a non-dairy way of getting that foam into your cocktails. But if you have an espresso machine at home or in the office, a great way of getting that foamy quality is just to scoop the foam out of your espresso. And then finally, three coffee beans, like they do in old Italia. One for luck, one for love, and one for prosperity. Cheers. 
cheers. Now that is a good morning.